Top story at noon. The investigation continues this noon time into a shooting in the Chad Brown section of Providence overnight. Erica Ritchie was covering this breaking story on 12 News this morning. She's live at Providence Police Headquarters right now. And Erica, where do police stand at this hour? Well, Pat, good noon time to you. Right now, they are still trying to track down the person who pulled the trigger. A big part of their investigation, though, is going to center around whether or not there's a connection between today's shooting and a murder that happened in that very same area over the weekend. The, for the community, is really bad. A resident at Chad Brown speaking to me on the basis of anonymity as we overlook another crime scene in her neighborhood. This one, a shooting playing out just before 3.30 this morning on Donaldson Street. Oh, I was sleeping. That wake me up. Providence police say officers in the area heard the gunfire too, and when they got there, they saw the victim stumbling down the street, suffering from two gunshot wounds. The woman I spoke with says the trigger was pulled just outside her front door. I get out of the house and I saw the cops and I told them this is what happened. Oh, you don't scare? I'm not scared because I have to protect my kids. Today's incident comes on the heels of another shooting a block away at the intersection of Admiral Street early Sunday morning. 28-year-old Julio Ariza was killed. It's the same intersection where 23-year-old Jason Gonzalez was gunned down in 2018 as he drove by. And according to the Providence Police case log, there have been at least four other reports of shots being fired in or around the Chad Brown housing complex in the last six months. Yeah, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm definitely leaving. I'm tired. And as for the man who was shot there this morning, police say he was taken to the hospital with serious but non-life-threatening injuries. And once again, the suspect has not been named as of this noontime. That's the latest live in Providence. Erica Ritchie, 12 News.